Shalom, I'm Alex Radical. Welcome to a follow-up video on Quick Trucks. So in my first video, I talked about the pros and cons of Quick Trucks. This video, I just want to talk about my follow-up to figuring out something with my setup. So this is my just for fun cruising setup that I realized that, you know what, I think I'll put my Quick Trucks on this board and see how it rides. And so far, I really like it. So with this deck, I basically have set up my Avenue suspension trucks with the Quick Truck system, and I'm using regular Thunders as the skating truck. Now I find that this combination is perfect for me. I think it just has to do with the size of this board and what I'm using it for. I don't really care too much about what happens to this board, so I figure, you know what, let me just use it with this one. I made some custom art for it, as you can see there. I got this originally as a gift, so I figure, you know what, let me super personalize it and make some art for it. Now when it comes to the quick truck system, it is definitely a lot heavier with my Avenue suspension trucks, but I found that having these Cruiser Satori wheels actually made all the difference in terms of the weight. It's still pretty heavy, but I know that it's not gonna like break on me in that sense. But I think having these Thunder 149s are pretty good in terms of having a regular skateboard truck. So all I really have to do is click the system and then switch out and you're good to go. And I think that's the benefit of having quick trucks is that you can literally switch from having a cruiser setup to a regular setup, just kind of depending on what kind of board that you have. I figure you should just have it on the board that you just want to have fun on or just a board that you really want to be versatile. But that's my review of the quick truck system and I'll see you in the next video.